If you take the time to sit quietly and observe the thoughts that play out in your mind, you'd be taken aback at how many of your thoughts are negative, not useful and repetitive. Did you know that negative thinking triggers the body to produce chemicals? And this affects the way that it functions, primarily cortisol and adrenaline. The more we have negative thoughts, the more chemicals are pumped into our bodies. Now this isn't to say the chemicals are bad, but to have them microdosed into your system throughout the day, the week, or even throughout the year, has significant consequences over time on our physical health. Not to mention that it pretty much sucks to have negative thoughts, especially when times are tough and when we are out of our comfort zones. It feels like we're trapped with them. The good news is we can do something about it. Although we can't stop the thoughts from arising, we can learn to change the way we respond to them. We can learn to change our relationship with them. The not so good news, it's like going to the gym. It takes practice, it's challenging, but the rewards are truly profound. So the following meditation is a concentration and observation exercise. If you follow the instructions and use the technique, you'll find it very useful and it can be the foundation for your own daily practice. As we begin the meditation, whether we want to or not, thoughts will arise. Thoughts about things to do, future tasks, or ruining about things in the past. Again, this is normal and out of our control. What is in our control, however, is that once we notice that we're thinking, we can do something about it. And in this exercise, the remediation or the response is to simply bring our attention back to the breath. We start to think about a future event, back to the breath. We start to worry about a meeting with the boss, we redirect our attention back to the breath. This wax on, wax off repetitive action of continuously returning to the breath is strengthening our muscle of attention and observation so that we can take it with us throughout the day. As John Kabat-Zinn says, life is the meditation. We practice the 10, 15 minutes each day so that we can draw from it in the remaining 18 hours of the day. Reminder, we have on average 70,000 thoughts a day and most of them do not serve us usefully and we call that suffering. So before we begin the meditation, don't forget to subscribe, like and follow my channel. More meditations and practical training videos. If you find it useful, please go ahead and share with your friends. So find a quiet place, sit up, keep your back straight, ideally close your eyes and let's begin.